legendary gamers. The positioning of this army. Now they are they're staying away from this low ground ledge, obviously, because they don't want to get caught in here. Um, because the siege tanks on this on this ledge can reach really far into this ground. So they're trying to stay kind of far and then slowly leapfrog in here. And here goes some infested Terrans uh, taking out Sprinkle's expansion, killing off uh, all of his harvesters. And you can just see his harvesters just going down real, real quick. Well, well I'm going to have to put that to busy. So, I think I think he knew that was that I'm casting this game. So, here's some more infested Terrans, obviously taking out Buxomizer's expansion as well. You can see that his harvester count has uh, taken a slight drop, but not considerable, considering he has 53. So I don't think he had done a transfer yet. Uh, he is pretty looking pretty good there. Here go a whole bunch of infested Terrans just to. Uh, it looks as if Buxomize tried to sneak up, tried to leapfrog in closer, and um, was quickly denied by the Funk. And here he goes, unseaging everything, pulling back, and then resieging into one big ball. Probably not exactly where he wants to be. I mean, when these siege tanks get really close together, and here is a lot of lings, and these lings need to be attacking the tanks, and that is atrocious, atrocious micro. Those infestors went to complete waste. And the funk calling, why? And it looks as if Buxom is trying to push him with some Vikings here. And just, and here I am just apologizing. Sorry, sorry, bad micro. No BM from me. That wasn't intentional, obviously. Uh, however, I do have 14 more infestors on the way and more infested Terrans coming down. So just, just continuing to deny and be annoying and, and harass uh, with these four infested Terrans, uh, trying to, to prevent. Um, our opponents from from breaking out and and this is kind of a, a way that you can slowly break a siege uh, and the harvester count uh, for uh, sprinkles and it was odd because sprinkles I believe BMs at the end of this game um, he's talking about the poor micro um, from his opponent uh, and now that I actually look at this it does look like he has extremely poor poor micro his APM is really really low an average of 26 uh, I wonder if he's sleeping or something. So a scan going down here. However, there are no units to actually take out these infestors. So uh, kind of a wasted scan. Uh, and I wish the uh, infested Terrans had done a little better. And here, just queuing up, trying to get as many of those as I can. And these Vikings coming over here. I guess Buxmine has realized he's going to have to get these out. Um, so he wants to drop another scan and see what he can do about it. And now here I go, continuing to murder Buxomize's, um, I see, and he, this time he does have a useful scan actually drop. So he is going to clean up these, these infestors. Uh, one does escape, and he should just drop another scan. I'm not really sure why he does. I mean, I, I, I assume, yeah, he's got, he's got plenty of energy. This, this orbital, for instance, is just completely full. And here these guys go, um, jockeying for position, but now they're not really building anything. Four, four Marines and five Marines, and, and that's it. Uh, and I actually have no production, zero production. Ah, that's why. Because I am sending out more of my burrowed infestors to continue to do more harassment. And uh, that is a planetary, and that is not good for those infestors. Oh, oh, they just get out of there. Well done. I'm not really sure why I unburrowed them. I think all I did was let him know that I have them there. Uh, and I should probably be aware that this is too close. And here come a whole bunch more, and I'm probably going to lose those. So this siege line is just not moving out at this point. They've just kind of decided to set up shop, try to maintain the contain as, as best as possible, and a whole bunch of infested Darren's going down here on uh, poor Sprinkles. Um, and that planetary fortress does fall very quickly, and it looks as if they are just trying to spread out this tank line as far as possible to ensure that... Uh, we do not break out of this contain. So that's that's exactly what it looks like Buxomize is doing here. He's just trying to press press this uh, siege line as far all the way across the map. That way they can keep their entire half of the map and drop in these missile turrets. So that way he can get the air control back away from the Funk who has a lot of Vikings. 
a lot of Vikings at this point. However, it does look as if I've completely denied Sprinkles' um, secondary expansion here at this point. And uh, Buxomize, of course, is the only one who's going to be intaking any uh, real money if he actually decides to drop this command center and do something with it. And he has got all kinds of energy sitting on these. He could be dropping a lot of mules. Oh, hold on here. Uh, I hear it. Where? Where is it? it? Looks as if they're taking down the rocks. Okay. I knew... I know I heard Hellions firing at something. I just couldn't couldn't tell really what it was. And more Infested Terrans going down here. Now I'm taking out Sprinkles' economy as uh, as well again. And Sprinkles is now down to uh, three SCVs. And the Funk doing a drop here on Buxomize. That is going to be painful, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to have difficulty with that. More Infested Terrans down here denying Buxomize once again. And the Funk just cleaning this up. So while they have this great... Siege line, and here it looks like S Sprinkles is uh, queuing himself up, readying himself for a drop. However, there are two missile turrets here, and I just don't see a really good placement. I mean, he's got a lot of Marines sitting in this medevac here, uh, and there is a, a really nice ring all the way around here. So this is probably going to be a waste of time for him unless he manages to come all the way down here and then up into the back. Um, they probably land right there. And here Sprinkles comes in for it. Actually, he did manage to find a gap right in the middle, and it does look like he is going to take out that tank and go for the production. So, Sprinkle's going, hey man, you guys are going to take out my expansion, then I'm going to take out your expansion. And Buxman is here bringing all of his SCVs and, and uh, a bunch of landed Vikings here, and uh, some Hellions. You know, just, just in case there's some more infestors down here. And here Mr. Worm is just going to town on these undefended tanks there are no marines in sight and tanks by themselves uh, in case you don't know ladies and gentlemen do not do very well against air uh, it does look like that drop got cleaned up for the funk i, I apologize there is just too much going on buxomize pulling his vikings here and mr worm just going to go ahead and m run away except for that one muta he is going to be left to die i guess he wasn't very important nobody liked him anyway his name was charlie nobody likes charlie Actually, nobody likes Tim. I don't know a single Tim I've ever met that I really, really liked. Can anybody tell me a Tim, like a famous Tim? I mean, besides like maybe, okay, Tim Allen. I, I think I would probably like Tim Allen if I met Tim Allen in real life. Seems like seems like a fairly nice guy. Buxmai's got a couple of battle cruisers out here. And chasing down that drop, Buxmai's just go ahead and negates uh, the drop that uh, the Funk here was, was trying to... Uh, of course, he's got plenty of energy for plenty of mules, but he needs those scans. They are more important. And more Infested Terrans going down here. And, and these, these Infested Terrans are being really, really annoying because now, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Sprinkles has no income whatsoever. He has no economy. Um, and while there is a decent amount of harvesters, as you can see, there is just zero production for these guys. And I believe that everyone at this point is pretty much mined out. And the Funk telling us something, well, I mean, let's face it, that's that's kind of obvious. It, we need to take the middle. Well, actually, technically, you don't need to take the middle because there's no expansions in the middle. Uh, what you do need to do is you need to secure an expansion. However, I understood what he said, and I just said agreed instead of being a smartass. Because, let's face it, I don't have time to be a smartass in this game. And Maximize has more of these orbital commands. I mean, I think that's all he's been building is just battle cruisers and orbital commands. And he's got these hot cue to go around, but... Uh, what he really needs is, ah, there we go, there are a couple of ravens. A couple of ravens would really do him some good. And, and here he is finally going to deny these infestors. However, he, he decides to back you there. And infested Terrans, in your line. Once again, we're going to watch the harvester count plummet, starting at 33. Down to 19, 18, 17. Uh, so I got him down to 17. So he is actually going to have some small amount of income at this point now. So he's going to be able to produce units eventually. However, here Mr. Worm comes with uh, two ungrouped packs of mutalisks coming by trying to deny this expansion. And it does look like those tanks were uh, completely cleaned up here by the funk. Um... 
I'm not really sure where they went. I, th I guess they just got destroyed. And I apologize for missing this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, but like I said, there is quite a lot. And Fest Terrans moving out across. A lot of air control here for the Funk. I really, really like this play. This is a really good job on his part. A couple of Marines, obviously, to protect his tanks. I like how they're queued with the tanks. And keeps it nice and clean. Mr. Worm de denying uh, another expansion from Sprinkles. And these battle cruisers are going to come over here, and uh, there's that, that one... Burrowed Zergling there, obviously keeping vision. And Mr. Worm's just going to go ahead and run away here. And here come these Infested Terrans once again. And we're going to watch the Harvester count because I never went back to Production Tab, apparently. And that's a lot. And here he does try and pull uh, his workers. However, uh, they are, unfortunately, um, really packed up. And there goes a Fungal going down. And with a second Fungal, he should lose every one of these workers. And we can see his worker count obviously dropping once again. And here come this battle cruiser push. Sixteen Vikings, four, three battle cruisers now, and a whole bunch of Hellions. Those Hellions are just going to be destroyed. And the Funk doing a good job kiting this battle cruiser back. Uh, because as we know, you can just kite those battle cruisers all day long. Point defense drone going down entirely too late. And now there's a bunch of Vikings and Ravens that are just completely worthless. And Funk continuing to engage and then pull back and pull him into these missile turrets. And Mr. Worm coming from the side, going to go ahead and clean this up. And Bucks is saying, Congrad, you won the game using the most broken unit in it. Uh, and an LOL coming from both me and the Funk as uh, these workers are going to go ahead and transition over here and try and build an expansion. Expansion is a little late. It didn't micro at all. It was all me trying, says Sprinkles. Nice turtle. However, uh, if I go to the APM tab, I have to agree with uh, Sprinkles. The Buxmize did uh, very, very poorly with that APM. So there really wasn't too much he could do here. And uh, Sprinkles just go ahead and leaves the game. No GG from either of them. Uh, no significant BM. Uh, so what were the key points in this game? The key points in the game, obviously, was... Um, the air control from uh, the Funk doing a really good job uh, pushing up on this this ledge here, uh, slowly forcing the Terran army that wanted to break in here back and reposition itself up here to the north. The spines obviously uh, not really great defense for that. However, when you hold this ledge, if you hold it correctly with air control, obviously you're going to outrange the uh, the opponent, and it's always harder to attack into sieged tanks. Um, Actually, I believe a wise man once said uh, uh, when two opponents in StarCraft at, um, uh, are battling each other and one opponent attacks, the, the opponent that's attacking um, it always has it more difficult than the uh, opponent who is defending. So, um, once again, good game to the Funk, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the cast, and I will see you next time.